I don't know what it is about 40 becoming 40 years old, but let me tell you this. When you become 40 years old, you're going to learn about the demon turds, okay? It's going to be like you are giving birth to the spawn of Satan sometimes. And sometimes you're looking for anything and you got to hit that damn toilet, okay? It, you could be you could be watering the plants at work and the next thing you know, you got to go. You go from 0 to 100 real quick. So this was happening to me at work, so I rushed back to the back and I grabbed the door. I'm jiggling on the handle. Men's bathroom occupied. So I get the smart idea that I'm about to go drop this demon turd that I'm about to give birth to in the female's bathroom. Well, I had this turd and it was so bad because I was probably in Tijuana for like two weeks straight just eating tacos and salsa. Next thing you know, I look like the guy in Dumb and Dumber after uh, Jim Carrey gave him all those uh, lax laxatives. I'm sitting there looking like I'm having an outer body experience. Before I know, I got to perform an exorcist before I send this turd back down to the depths of hell and flush it down the toilet. And while this is happening, I'm just sitting there basking in my ambiance, amazed at what I just gave birth to. The spawn of Satan has come out of my body and now I've exorcised it and relieved it and flushed it down the toilet to save not only myself, but humanity. That went down in the 15 to 20 minutes that I was in the female restroom. Now, the funk was so thick that I forgot I didn't do a courtesy flush because I had to perform the exorcism that all of a sudden I stood up after all the cleanup and then I just wished and hoped and prayed that there was not a female because there was nothing I could do in this little quarter, this little room, this little quarantine room to get rid of that smell. And when I opened the door, there she was, my female coworker, looking like she was holding back a demon turd herself. And she went right into it. And the funk, the ass that I had dropped in that room was functified. It was so thick, I wouldn't be surprised if she tipped, chipped a tooth on that funk. You know what I'm talking about? Man, that is the reason why I will never step foot ever again in that damn lady's restroom as long as I live. I'd rather go run behind a bush or a dumpster. Men do not need to be in women's restrooms.